Hello everybody and welcome back to part two of this Rivals draft. We got the win there in round one. Maybe it's a draft number six, that's a side note. Um, or video six. And yeah, we're going to round two. I think the deck is, is good. I mean, like I said, we did get a little lucky that in game three opponent was stuck on one color of mana, but we did have the ability to stop them from destroying us in game two. So that is something. We'll keep this. Because at that point, I wouldn't even mind school storm sculpturing back the looter, probably. And then getting, and getting my, uh, my loot trigger that I'm going to miss this first one to get my Siren Reaver into play. Sorry. Hopefully opponent doesn't kill the looter. I mean, I don't think they have any reason to. Unless they have just like... Their, uh, their cards in hand lined up where they had extra removal and they wouldn't have another chance to cast it. But... I would not be surprised if opponent blocks or does not block here, really. But I will be surprised if they take this long in my main phase. Come on, buddy. Hey. Nice. I did prefer it living, because that, that does hopefully get me Storm Sculptor in a couple turns. Obviously, a opponent can have their two Vigilance damage. Uh, I was about to say, I don't think we attack with Shipwreck Looter this turn when the opponent just had Sun Sentinel. Obviously, it doesn't matter when they have Sailor uh, Means. We're definitely not doing it, but... Uh, we're going yeah, to attack with Reaver and then play this Sculptor here, returning the Shipwreck Looter. Um, that's actually unblockable as opposed to just flying, so it's even it's slightly better evasion considering opponent is white blue and is likely to come up with some flyers. Um, and it is theoretically uh, really good for us mana wise if we if we top deck an island, which would be it would probably be our ideal draw. Oh, what am I doing? I attack with the looter. I'm too busy talking and I'm thinking about what I'm going to do with the looter, and I just turned it sideways. Oof. Oh man, just too far ahead of myself. Skullduggery still wins this combat at least, right? Alright, screw it. Because we can't cast Storm Sculpt this turn anyway. So we might as well just be mana efficient about things. Like if we let the, the looter die. Terrible use of Skullduggery, but... I 
I'm not gonna not use this. Like I already made the bat. Like I gotta get what I can get out of what I got once I've already messed up. Excuse me. That's kind of annoying. Whew. Uh, we're going to Storm Sculptor first because if we attack an opponent blocks, the rig hauler does nothing anyway. So you might as well just get the Storm Sculptor into play. Then we can play the Looter next turn or the Warrior Hauler. Probably the Looter because we can really use the uh, the trigger. Depends on what the opponent plays though, obviously. That's all right. That we can bounce if we want to. It depends on what we draw. I think we get in with Sculptor and then play the Looter because we can play the Scoundrel if we don't get to anything we want. Or we can discard the Scoundrel if we do. Opponent's random slowdowns are, are random, at the very least. I wish the flavor on Ascend was a little better. Like, it, it's cool, like, at a glance. I mean, like, but, like, a lot of the cards that don't really tie in amazingly well to being like, ooh, the city's blessing. Um, Swamp is not what we want. So we're just going to discard that and play the Scoundrel. I don't think opponent will attack with Spirewinder, but I've been wrong before. We're going to put the looter out in front to get his trick out now. Alright then. Opponent must have a follow up creature. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. That's fine too. Rig hauler will set opponent back way behind us. And we I feel pretty good. I mean if we can draw an island we should definitely win. Oh, that's pretty good too. Attack with the Storm Sculptor, and then march the Drown back the Reaver.
Reeves. Reavers. I don't need to attack the Ray Caller here. We know the uh, one of the cards in the opponent's hand. We don't know what they just drew, but. There's no way we block, that's for sure. Ooh, I don't know about playing that last land. I just play the cutlass, right? And put it on the reaver. No, that's 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 not right. I attack with everything. No, do I just attack with the Storm Sculptor? No, I attack with everything cause that's so I can force the Spire Winder to trade before opponent can ascend with it, likely next turn. Whew, okay. Opponent is three colors. I don't think I have any particular way to punish that, though. Kumeda's Awakening definitely helps them, so that, that we don't want. All right, I mean, yeah, this is fine, then. Excuse me. I definitely think Storm Sculptor might be a nice, a nicer card in this format than it was in uh, Ixalan. Just another one of those things where just that extra couple seconds is like a huge deal. We're keeping this. It's got Queen's Bay into Siren Reaver with the Skull Dugs. Oof, and the Forerunner. Uh, do I take a turn, like, slightly less aggressive to play the Forerunner? Or do I just make the Reaver? I think I play the Forerunner because I do that Scoundrel. That's, a, that's another pirate I can play um, with a Siren Reaver next turn. And then I still have Rig Hauler. Yeah, this feels pretty, pretty good. And Skull Duggery. Yeah. Oh, and opponent has no play. I would not be surprised by like a surprisingly early opponent concession here because this is not looking great for them. Mm, they drew the land. Whew. 
Whew. These draws have been insane. This this hand has been insane for us. Wait, no. Oh yeah, that works. If I give this plus one and give that minus one, that's a two three, two three, and this is a three four. Or four three. Whew. That hand was some fire right there. Oh, buddy. All right, uh, let's go again. That was quick. I'd like to grab another 3 0 here. I think the deck's good enough to do it. We we draw hands like that, hands like that. We'll keep this because we find an island. It is bonkers, and even if we don't, we still have a one drop, two drop, which should be able to like at least. And then the march of the drowned. I mean, it should at least slow him down if it after. If it doesn't, you know, do a little work. Oof. Really need an island, but if we draw an island in the next two turns, this hand is... Oof. Island, island, island. Come on, don't do it to me. Just give me that island. Ooh. I wonder if our opponent's hand is bad. Opponent just blocked R2-1 with their 2-1 menace. Sort of disappointing. We're going to march with the drown back the two pirates if opponent trades here because we aren't doing anything else. Mm. I don't mind this keep. I mean, if we had found a island, we were, we are, if we, we could still find an island. We could do missed it for a turn and find one this turn and still be pretty solid. Oof. Give me that island. Give me that island. I need it. Island into a fourth land would be even better, but I'll, I'll, I'm not going to be too greedy. I'll settle for just the island. I can get a lot of work done with just the island right here. Oof. That's pretty brutal. <sighs> Come on. I expected a dinosaur here, but it kills both the Forerunner and the Hunter, and we're bringing the uh, Hunter back in a second, with this, along with the Scoundrel with the March of the Drowned, assuming we don't draw anything.
We have enough good removal that we're not technically out of this. We could just somehow sneak away out of this. The hunter's going to trade itself. And the... And if we can get there, I would break it. The break caller can kill that token. Remember what I said about us getting out of this? <laughs> that that one hurt. Um, the opponent attacks next turn. They kill our thing with Rage Registrar, and we don't have enough blockers to not die. Okay. Opponent is on dinos. I think we want cancel. And to pull one of these scoundrels. They seem bad. But I can't pull too many and keep my Siren Reavers online. Mm. Yeah, you're right. It's not. It's not great. If we get better draw, we can definitely. I mean, like if we had drawn the the island, we would have won that game. Oh, I, all right, fine. Island into another land to get the uh, the Ray Callers online, but. We definitely could have won that game. Yeah, we'll keep it. We got scout one drop. We got removal spell that we can cast. Got a removal spell we can cast if we draw a swamp. Come on. Oh my goodness. That was the thing we that was the card we least wanted to draw. With Island. Swamp was way better. Creatures is much better on top of that. And instead, Islands. Ooh. That's a rarity. We're just going to strap the Cutlass on. And keep bashing, because opponent still hasn't played a creature. Sun call, our herd caller would be bad. Yep. If we just attack. There's possible opponent doesn't do trade to the, uh, yeah, didn't, but what's possible? Maybe we can follow it up with a forerunner. For a reaver, because we definitely don't want to be showing off more riggers right now. It encourages opponent to keep the herd caller alive. I 
I'm assuming an opponent has everything in their hand. They've got whatever color of mana they need. It's just a matter of if they've got, like, <laughs> how they kill us. Opponent weighing their options here, apparently. They know the top card of my library is. So that's actually kind of interesting because they do need to find something to do. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely not blocking that. I don't know why. I mean, this doesn't mean an opponent has a bigger creature they're going to play to block with. Or a raid creature they're going to play? Maybe a raid creature. That was interesting. Not what I expected. Let's see what goes on top. That's important. So I attack, does opponent double lock here? And if opponent does, is that okay with me? The answer to the second one, I think, is definitely yes. Because I still trade for both creatures. Is the answer to the first one yes? Is the real question. Maybe. How many good dinosaurs does this guy have? <laughs> Like, how screwed are we? Thrashing Brontodon, eh? Okay. I definitely expect a double block here, then. I'm going to play and equip this to sort of force the issue on opponent uh, using that uh, disenchant they just fetched. Still not blocking the third caller. Wayfinder, eh? Finds Regisaur. Brontodon. Let's go for the attack first. See what opponent does. We're going to water not that. And then cast a Dino Hunter. Swamp would be really good off the top. I'm just going to just going to throw that one out there. Ooh, no attack from opponent. It's 
pretty sweet for us. Instead of a swamp, you taunt me, don't you? You taunt me. Hopefully opponent blocks with herd caller because we really want to bounce here with rig caller. Who? Yes. Please give me the swamp. Give me that swamp. Please give me the swamp. Get me that swamp. So I'm so good here. Why do you do this to me? Why do you hurt me so? I don't expect any discard, but not playing this land right now because of the what I can draw next turn and what's in my hand doesn't really affect what's going on. Whew! Okay. That one felt like it was a lot closer than it should have been as we just could not draw the land we needed. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Uh, but yeah, this is. I still think the optimal deck versus opponent's deck. I do sort of expect opponent to show up with some uh, anti-flying tech here. Maybe a plummet. Oh, I mean, they submit it pretty fast. We did take a second with our non-cyborg sideboard, but they sideboarded very fast for having sideboarded. Okay, we'll keep in this. Yes, we need to draw a land, but now we have both colors of mana, so any land does the trick. Don't do it to me, game. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Glitched out for a second there, sorry. But just don't. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Land. Don't be like that. Please, please give me the land. Don't <laughs> come on, look at this hand. Oh my goodness, we're gonna lose this game. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Come on, any land, any land. We're we're all right as long as we draw a land right here. We can deal. No, we can't. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Screw you! Oh come on! If we have one Reaver out, we're winning this game right now. Oh my goodness. Finally, okay. I kind of expect the uh, Flash Merfolk here, but I, I'm still running this in there. Outright sail back. Jesus Christmas. I am so tilted. We can still win this game if we draw another land. An opponent does not kill our flyer before our turn. It's still possible.
I would have opponent had a good hand too. Like no, you know. Mm -mm. But I really would have liked to play Magic, like uh, the actual game of this, if I had just drawn that stupid. Yeah. Yep. 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 All right. Yep, 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 yep. No way out of this one, right? Trample damage, menace. Yep, nope. That's, that, oof. Oof, that's frustrating. Oh, that was, that was a, that was a match right there. All right, whatever. We're still a 2-1. I'm not going to be too mad about it. We got pretty, pretty shafted there in match three. Oh, man, we had good hands in both. Both games that I th I'm I think were keeps. Those had to be keeps. Both those hands are so good. The first one, if I draw, it has to be an island. But if I draw an island, I definitely win that game. And then even in that third game, like I said, opponent has a good start, but I still think I win that one if I draw lands. Cause oh my goodness. Ah. Oh. Because opponent just... Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, my brain. Okay. Well. Until next time. Always draw lands, folks. Except for... Always draw lands. Except don't draw lands when you don't need lands. Like I did in those earlier games when I was drawing some lands. In match one. And, as always, have a great life, folks. Peace!